Hi guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Snapdragon 808 versus the 810 processor. I mean, Qualcomm has denied that there has been any overheating issues to do with the Snapdragon 810 processor, but, you know, I don't really believe these claims. Obviously, it looks bad if, you know, you've got, you know, problems of what you're manufacturing when it shouldn't really have any problems at all. It should be, you know, tested and the batch should be good to go, but obviously this isn't the case. I mean, the reason I don't think this is the case is well, they made two versions to the Snapdragon 810 processor, which is version 1 and version 2. So obviously, there must be something going on. I've also tested um, phones with the Snapdragon 810 and the phones with the Snapdragon 808. Um, and in my experience, you know, the pro, you know, the Snapdragon 808 has been more stable. For example, when I was using the HTC M9, Especially when it comes to gaming, at first the frame rates are lovely. It's very good, very smooth. Then after maybe three, four, five minutes, the frame rate significantly drops in games, and uh, you know the device gets you know quite hot. If I'm honest, and if this if the chip is working the way it should, it should maintain you know consistent you know frame rates, and al also when you daily usage with the phone. I mean, even with when performing simple tasks such as watching videos, opening up messages, the phone does get quite warm to the touch, which is you know, you know, quite bad. And the phone gets laggy; its app opening times get slower. So there's definitely throttling issues. Also, um, I've tested, you know, the LG G4 and the HTC M9 benchmark scores. I mean, at first, the M9 has better benchmark scores. And then when I retest the, you know, HCC M9, the benchmark scores significantly drop. It even goes down to about a mid-range phone, which isn't very good from a flagship. And when I test it compared to the G4, which is running the Snapdragon 808, the 808 um, benchmark is quite, you know, similar each time I benchmark it. There's only two or, I don't know, two or three thousand drop in score when I use Antutu benchmark which, is, which isn't too bad but with the M9 the score would drop about 7,000 or 8,000, 6,000 it, it really does depend but it shows that you know there is some aggressive throttling going on and you know the chip isn't performing the way it should. I've also tested even like uh, gaming uh, between the G4 and the M9 and the gaming seems to be you know more fluid on the G4 I mean at first it's more fluid on the M9 because it's running a superior um, graphics processing unit but after five six minutes the G4 performs better and it maintains consistent performance throughout so you know there's definitely some problems with the 810 uh, I mean Qualcomm is already working on the Snapdragon 820 processor I mean I believe this processor should be okay if Qualcomm has learned anything from, you know, the 810 processor. And because they made two versions, it does really look bad for the company. I mean, I think that 808 is a more well-behaved chip. Um, it does maintain, you know, its performance fairly well. Whereas the M devices like the M9 running the 810, it, you know, it doesn't really maintain that performance only for a while uh, finally I've also got like a chart here which I had open throughout the start of the video which shows the LG G Flex 2 running the Snapdragon 810 and the LG G4 which is running the Snapdragon 808 processor I mean up to 60 seconds the LG G Flex 2 with the 810 processor maintains higher clock speeds but after that it significantly drops and it continues to drop Whereas the LG G4, which is running a Snapdragon 808, which is um, blue on the on the graph, maintains higher, you know, clock speed and it's more well behaved. You don't see a significant drop. Whereas the G Flex 2, you notice a significant drop in performance. So, you know, to be honest, there's no point of having a really powerful processor when it can't even, you know, perform the way it should. So, I prefer the Snapdragon 808 behaves much better and I've tested numerous devices running the 808 and the 810 processor and my, in my experience 
the 808 is a much better well behaved chip and it maintains better performance so that's about it guys thank you for watching the video if you've got any comments please do you know comment on the section below or any other requests for any other videos thank you for watching